Happy Saturday, guys! How are you? So it's been a little bit of a while since you've seen me, but I'm doing good. I'm alive. I am now 27 weeks pregnant, so that's insane. Today I'm actually going to be talking about how to survive the first trimester. This is my second pregnancy. I kind of know what this thing is about, so I'm going to give you guys some tips because this pregnancy I have not thrown up a single time. I made sure from like the day that I found out I was pregnant, I made sure to do a ton of research, get a bunch of information, and get a bunch of things, and I was like, I'm just gonna try everything. Like literally every single thing that people say can or may work. I'm just gonna try it all and just make this pregnancy better than the last, okay? Just some basic things that can really really help um, the first one would be I would say do not brush your teeth in the morning I don't know why but when I'm pregnant my gag reflex is incredibly strong like even if you were just brushing your tongue usually like as you do every day like you could literally make yourself throw up just from trying to brush your teeth in your tongue which I have done with Eliana, I did. I used to literally make myself vomit because I was like, I need to brush my teeth in the morning. I'd wake up, brush my teeth, and then just end up throwing up because my gag reflex is so strong that it literally just makes me throw up. Take it easy with that toothbrush. If you're really, really worried about the breath, I would say try mouthwash. That might be a better option for you. Now, the second thing that I definitely recommend would be drinking a lot of water. Obviously, I always say this, but especially since you may be throwing up and feeling super nauseous constantly and you're just going through so many changes for a trimester especially that it's just kind of really hard on your body and just you want to make sure you're just staying hydrated. So some things that I found online that people are using for first trimester. Preggy Pops, guys. Yes, pick up a box of these. Okay, so they come in like different flavors, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of people say that they literally are just like on these, like during the pregnancy. Like once one is finished, they want the next one because like it really takes away the nauseous feeling. So I would definitely say it's worth a try. It might not work for you, but it may. So it's worth a try. I think I paid like $4 for this box. And I would say if you're really struggling, just try stuff, like try something new. If one thing isn't working, just like try something else, you know, or maybe like combining more than one method would definitely help you, okay? Another thing that um a lot of people use is this acupuncture relief band. It's basically made for seasickness. So you know how people like feel like get seasick and they start getting all nauseous and all that stuff. You basically just put it on your wrist and it like sh there's little instructions and it shows you whatever, whatever where the band, where exactly the pressure point needs to be. Definitely can give this a try too. I think this was like eight bucks for these, but you can get like a whole like set, like where they come with like 22 bands or whatever, you know? So you can have like a long-term kit if you need it. I don't know. I didn't really use that because like I said, I found a method that really, really worked for me. And it was basically just two things that helped me the most. Number one, Eating constantly. Once you don't eat anything, you start feeling way more nauseous. Yes, you'll feel nauseous as you're eating, kind of. But then you realize, like, once you're done eating, you actually feel a lot better. So, like, I would wake up right away in the morning, make myself just a piece of toast or whatever in, in a cup of warm tea, and just literally sit on the couch. You know, just sitting down, forgetting anything else I have to do and just making sure that I eat something immediately really, really helps, okay? So just like find something you can eat. Usually the doctors tell you to just eat super bland, boring foods like plain rice and plain toast and salting crackers. 
And by the time you're like three days in, you just feel so sick of the crackers that you feel like they're making you feel more sick than even just not eating them. Like just looking at the crackers already makes you nauseous because it's so annoying. Like why do we have to eat these stupid crackers, right? So let me tell you guys, there are things that are similar to crackers, but taste way better. An example would be Cheez-Its. Another example is like pretzels, you know, things like that, where they're just super bland, super like kind of dry, I guess. A plain like popcorn, you know, stuff like that. They can help. They can really help because you don't feel disgusted by them and they do help you feel better and they're basically easy to digest and very similar to the crackers that you were eating but they just taste better and you enjoy them more so so now my huge secret it's not even a secret but this is basically what saved me so you may not know this but vitamin b6 guys vitamin b6 so you can ask your doctor about this. They can prescribe you some. I was looking up this stuff and I kind of went and bought my own bottle because I didn't have any doctor's appointment coming up and I wasn't about to wait because I was like, if I start feeling sick today, I'm not waiting whatever, one or two weeks to wait for my doctor to have an availability. Make sure you pay attention to the amount of milligrams per tablet because if you do have an extremely concentrated tablet do not take the whole thing like for these I would cut them in half because there's 100 milligrams of this in one little tablet I don't know if you guys could see but see that has that was these are a hundred milligrams so as you can imagine I did my research I'm not about to risk my pregnancy my baby everything but I'm also not about to feel sick so I make sure that I do all the necessary research, I pay attention to the details, but I still kind of do what I want to do, okay? So these are basically the secret. I don't know why or how, but these vitamin B6 supplements, whatever, literally make you feel not sick, okay? The doctor prescribes them like in a 25 milligram tablet and you're supposed to take them like every six hours. What I did since my tablets were 100 milligrams, I cut the tablets in half and I would only take it right before bed. So just taking this before bed basically did the trick for me. Um, my doctor never mentioned this to me. I had to do, find this out all on my own. I don't know why they don't tell people about this stuff, but they should. They should offer it up for people because why not? Okay, if this little tablet could save my life, why didn't you tell me about it, right? There is a sleep aid that they provide for you that basically the sleep aid works with this vitamin b6 the sleep aid is called like doxylamine it's like spelled d-o-x-y-l-a-m-i-n-e and you basically take the sleep aid with the vitamin b6 together and then i would just go to sleep and wake up the next morning and basically i was good i was good like i said have not thrown up once this pregnancy, I'm super thankful, super grateful. <sighs> and I'm due on December 1st, and I can't wait. We're getting really close now, September. And who knows, I might have the baby at the end of November. So, super exciting. I was thinking maybe he'll be born on Thanksgiving or something. So, I'm excited, but. <laughs> that is basically it for me. Um, you can also try, I hear a lot of people say they literally just would suck on lemon throughout their pregnancy and throughout their first trimester and it would really, really help them somehow. You can try it. Like I said, this little um, vitamin B6 thing plus just eating, making sure I eat constantly throughout the day basically did it all for me. So I didn't really need that, but if you do, go ahead and give it a try. So yes, that's basically it. I hope this really helps you guys. I know first trimester can be so hard and it just seems so dreadful and miserable. And it's like, first trimester is like when you basically feel the worst, but it's also like kind of early. So you're not even really telling people you're pregnant most of the time and you just feel so alone. Cause like either people don't know you're pregnant or like you don't look pregnant yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you are new here we are so happy that you found our channel i am sarah we would love it if you could subscribe 
then tell your mom to subscribe, of course, and your dad and your brother and your sister and your dog. Thank you. Super thankful that you're here and that you're alive and just be thankful for something, okay? So focus on the good and have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Can't wait. Bye.